All right, what's going on? Um, I'm here, I guess, unboxing the Mario Odyssey Wedding Outfit Amiibo. I wrote that myself. It wasn't there when I got it. I wrote scratch that all out so I wouldn't get doxxed or anything. That wouldn't be good. I've already opened it up to make sure I knew what it was, so that's why that's there. That's why also you can tell it's already been opened. I was just making sure it was these Amiibo. I was waiting to do the unboxing video. Okay, let's open this up. I have to set this down here. Let's take the Amiibo out. And set them out so we can get a good look at them. So, everybody's seen all the videos by now, so you already know what these are. That's Mario, Peach, and Bowser. I've got all her wedding outfits. That, that's a lie. That, that's not her wedding dress. Spoilers. That's okay. That's fine. But it isn't seen, like, for free until the end of the game. Spoilers. That was seen, like, the first 30 seconds, and that's just a lie. I don't know which one to unbox first. So let's just look at the back. Now this is the first I've seen on it. They also have the Switch on there as well as the new 3DS and Wii U. They also have... God damn, my camera will focus. Damn it. Yeah, you can see the Nintendo 3DS did. And that's e reader which... Like, two out of... One out of three people have. See your basic Mario become invulnerable for a minute with amiibo help and amiibo transformation. You receive a special costume. This you receive in the game, like for free. I don't know about the other two outfits, how you get them. I know you can get them later. I think those you have to pay for. You can get the you get special idea become invulnerable for a short time. We'll look at Peach. We'll look at the back of hers. A life out. Life up hearts will appear and you'll receive a special costume. Is Mario transgender? Oh god, that was really insensitive. Didn't mean to offend anybody. And let's look at the back of Bowser's. And one where regional coins are hidden. This is really useful for 100% in your game. I mean, one up hearts. I mean, one up hearts. Life up hearts. And invulnerability are nice, but they don't actually help 100% in the game, so that's really helpful. Because some regional coins are really hard to find. And there's only 100 of them in each kingdom, so really, you don't have to scan it that many times. So a bunch of them you'll already find yourself, but this is really helpful for the ones that are hard to find. And that costume's pretty cool. There's really not much other than extra spikes on the, this costume over here. And Bowser's shell, which is just cool. So... Because Mario's the main man of the party, we'll open up his box first. Sorry, it's a little cold out here in, in my garage that I'm filming in. Um, Taking it out of that. Here we have the Mario Amiibo figure in its full glory. Nice upskirt shot there. The hat is actually textured, which I really like. It gives you that sense of, like, I don't know how to put it, almost a sense of reality to an extent. Like, it feels like an actual hat, almost. I don't know if that's easy to describe. A hat can feel different depending on how it's made, but this actually feels like it could be real, and if this was real, this is how it'd feel. I like the quality of Neo, even the little details, like you can see little sparkles on his wedding shirt, which is pretty cool. It, it, it really faithfully matches the in-game outfit, which I like, but let's be honest, like, they probably designed it with some sort of CAD program, and 
They probably use actual in-game models to design the molds for these, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was how it worked. Of course, these little intricate details and everything modify the mold. To be honest, I don't know how they did that. So setting Mario aside, get this box up. Get out of here. All right, next we'll look at Peach. This is actually the tallest out of the bunch. If you look at it, this is actually used to be what the normal Amiibo box would be. But because of like space in the stores, because they're hard to find, and they decide to make more, retailers don't have enough space to store them, so they made the boxes thinner. So this is about like just like the minimum of how far they can go. This is actually what this size the box originally used to be sized, and because the size of the Amiibo itself they had to stretch it out so much that it would fit. So they decided to just use the original. At least that's what I think. But it is definitely the original size. I have an original Amiibo box somewhere. I don't know where it is. Anyways, we're back on topic. Get out of here. Didn't mean to do that, though. Um, can we actually get this open, please? Now we have Peach out of her box. Like this, like Mario's, how his like shirt and pants feel like they have a glossy paint. The same for Peach's dress, which, sorry if it wasn't on camera all the way, but you see how, okay, that, I'm going to edit that out. Um, so it's all glossy and stuff, everything's glossy, and it's like, bleh, it's all smooth. This is weird feeling like they didn't paint it. They didn't put any finish on it. It just, but they did. It's like a transparent paint that has this weird matte finish to it. There's even little sparkles in it if you can see those through the camera. And everything looks so cool. It would have been cool if they put eyes on this and eyes on this because, spoilers in game, the tiara is alive. So is the hat. Well, you probably already knew the hat was alive. But so is the tiara if you watched the first trailer of the game. In the first probably five minutes of the game, you find out that this tiara was actually Cappy's sister. So that's pretty cool. Put that down and find. Um, focus, please. We'll open up Bowser now. These are even more pain in the ass because. Excuse my family, I really need to get out of that habit. Ooh, that's, that's interesting. I've never seen anything like that before. And this is, I'm going to be honest, probably my favorite Amiibo out of all these. Of course, it's Bowser, it's going to be big, but the detail is there. Like... These are nice, they feel nice in hand. Like Mario's hat has detail on it. It has the same detail on Bowser's hat, same as Mario's, so you can kind of sort of see that. But this, there's actual detail in the shirt and the pants, and even, even the friggin' spikes and everything are shiny. It's really cool. This is my favorite, by the way. If I can focus, you can get a bit better look at it. But I have to say, this is definitely my favorite out of the three. Because just the amount of detail and effort that was put into making this amiibo figure. And one gripe, and the only gripe I have with all these figures, you can't really tell Peach because, well, the dress, but you can tell it's Mario and Bowser. The base are the same as the, Super Mar the Mario Party amiibo, so that's kind of the only gripe I have. If it is Mario amiibo, it is, but they could have at least tried to come up with something original for the amiibo base. I guess they didn't want to di differentiate too much and had to make five bajillion copyrights for the names of the series. Anyways. Um, can I actually, like, 
get these on camera. Right? And that was the Super Mario Odyssey Amiibo unboxing. Have a good day. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want. I guess I'll be making a new video soon. That's JoJo Central signing out.